Hello students. Today I am going to teach you lesson number 3 of class 5 maths. The topic is multiplication. You have already learned about multiplication in your previous classes. So then, what do you mean by multiplication? Multiplication is a mathematical operation where a number is added to itself a number of times. Or in other words, we can say that multiplication means repeated addition. For example, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 2 into 3 or 2 is repeated 3 times. Now, let us learn a few terms that are related to multiplication. They are multiplicand, multiplier and product. Multiplicand is the number being multiplied. multiplier is the number doing the multiplying and product is the answer which we get after we multiply the given numbers the multiplicand and the multiplier are both factors of the product for example 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10 here 5 is the multiplicand and 2 is the multiplier and 10 is the product or the answer which we get after multiplying 5 into 2 and 5 and 2 are the factors of the product so now children let us learn about the five different properties that are involved in the multiplication which makes our problem easier to solve so the first property is the commutative property second associative property third identity property fourth zero property and the fifth one is distributive property now let me explain you the different properties one by one so the first one is commutative property here this means when two numbers are multiplied together the product is same regardless of the order of the multiplicands which means what as you can see here in the given example 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 or 2 multiplied by 4 is also equal to 8 so even if the order of the factors are changed the answer remains the same now the second property is associative property when three or more numbers are multiplied the product is the same regardless of the grouping of the factors here when you can see the example 3 multiplied by 4 into 2 is equal to 24 like 3 into 4 is 12 then 12 into 2 is 24 or if we change the order here that is 3 when multiplied by 4 into 2 is also 24 the third property is the identity property the product of any number and one is that same number for example 8 multiplied by 1 is equal to 8 or we can say that when any number is multiplied by 1 we get the same number as its answer the fourth property is zero property the product of any number and zero is always zero for example 6 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 which means what when any number let it be any number when multiplied by 0 the answer will always be a 0 the last property is the distributive property a multiplication fact can be broken into the sum of two other multiplication facts for example 7 multiplied by 4 is how much 28 you can get the same answer 28 when 5 is multiplied by 4 and then added to 2 multiplied by 4 till now children we have understood what is multiplication then what are the basic terms related to multiplication and also about the properties of multiplication now moving on to our next topic that is two digit multiplication two digit multiplication you have already learned in your previous classes isn't it so here let us do a 
brief recap. Here there is an example. 67 multiplied by 23. As I have already explained you that here 67 is the multiplicand and 23 is the multiplier. In the first step, you have to multiply the multiplicand 67 with the multiplier that is there in the ones place. So in the ones place, the multiplier here is 3. So 67 is multiplied by 3 to get your answer 201. Moving on to the next step. In the next step, you have to put a 0 to hold the ones place in the next row, right? So then, in the third step, you have to multiply the multiplicand 67 with the multiplier that is there in the tens place, 67 multiplied by 2. You get an answer 1, 3, 4. Now, in the last step, you have to add the numbers which we have got in both the rows. So, the answer is 1541. Now, let me give you another example for your better understanding or a short method we can say. The example here given to you is 26 multiplied by 24. So, which is the multiplicand here? 26 or we can also say 20 plus 6 and 24 is the multiplier. The multiplier 24 can be written as 20 plus 4. So 26 is multiplied by 4 first. So first 26 is multiplied by 4 which after which you got an answer 104. And as I have explained you earlier, we need to put a 0 below the last digit to show the 1's place, right? And then 26 is multiplied by 20. 26 is multiplied by 20. You get an answer 5 to 0, right? So then after this, you are going to add both the numbers in both the rows to get an answer. Final answer is 624. So when 26 is multiplied by 24, your answer is 624. With this children, we have come to the end of this part of the video. Here are a few sums for you to solve. You can pause the video and write down the sums. Meet you soon in the next part of the video. Thank you and stay safe at home.